Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I need a spa day. I really do. I look rough, very rough. I need to wash my hair. I need to do some skincare. I need to do a pedicure. I've been, I put it off for too long. I now have to really do a pedicure because it's disgusting at this point. Um, so, Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is wash my hair. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys this whole process in the shower or anything like that because it's just too much work. And I have several videos showing how I wash my hair. So I'm just giving you guys a little preview right now on how I like to wash my hair with extensions in it. I like to focus on my leave out first, which is what you see me doing here. And I just have shampoo in here and I just focus on like shampooing my edges first and like, you know, my leave out section. Then I like to focus on the extension um, itself only because this is just like the easier way to wash it. As I said, I'm only giving you guys a little preview right now, but I'm going to hop in the shower and do this properly. All right guys, my shower is done and I washed my hair. And um, I currently have that same t-shirt that I had on earlier. Yeah, the big yellow gross one that I... <laughs> You know. Anyways, I put that on my head to kind of help soak up some of the water. I like to do this because it really cuts down the air drying time as well as the blow drying time. So I definitely love to do this um, to kind of like minimize, you know, that whole time because I don't want to be blow drying my hair for hours. So we're gonna just get on to the skincare right now. Um, I'm just gonna do a little scrub. I do have a lot of dry patches all over my skin, so I just wanna like, kinda like, um, do like a very gentle light scrub, just to kind of take that off a little bit, cause I hate when my skin has all this texture, it really irritates me. So we're gonna do that to start off. Alright guys, so my shower is done and my hair is in these two braids just to kind of keep it together and not like messy and stuff. Now we're going to get started on the pedicure. One thing though, I am doing a foot peel currently. This is day three. I have a ton of dead skin. So if you see that at any point during the pedicure portion, don't judge me. My skin is peeling from the foot peel. Alright guys, so for my pedicure, I'm going to be using this little foot bath the thingy however it doesn't heat up and it's also not mine it's tiff's tiff if you're watching this thank you boo okay pedicure time so now i'm just removing the gel polish from my toes because that's the only way you can do it or soak it off with acetone but who has time for that so now i'm just soaking my feet in some hot water while sipping my green juice like i'm at the real spa and this is what my feet looks like after being soaked with the peel on completely gross i know i can't believe i have this on the internet but as you guys can see it's all coming off and once i'm done the results are amazing i'm just going to moisturize my feet really quickly with this foot cream and you're gonna see how soft my feet looks like this peel is so amazing i love it and just wanted to explain this bit so go back to the video bye all right guys so part of self-caring is also eating because food is life so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that black bean corn dip that i'm so obsessed with i made it in a recent video but i didn't have cilantro so i had to go without so what you're gonna need for this recipe is basically corn and I'm using this one here from the can by, by Goya. Just going to drain the water out right now. And my hair is still air drying, doing its own thing, so never mind that. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Pam spray. Just gonna pour the corn in here and just allow that to just do its thing. It's gonna be like roasted and delicious. Perfect. So that's gonna take like 10 minutes. Corn looks like right now. So now we have the black beans in the bowl. Just gonna add the corn directly on top. Um, 
As I said, this is supposed to be like a cold dip, but we roast the corn and stuff, so it's a little bit warm, but it cools off pretty quickly because the beans are cold. I'm just gonna add the cilantro in here. That's what we're working with right now. Then I have a lime here, I'm just gonna squeeze one. We're gonna add the feta cheese, add as much as you want. We kinda like to just go crazy. A little crazy. A little crazy. And add almost the entire thing. I feel like that's a lot. Okay, yeah, that does look like a lot. Let's yeah. Try. And I'm just going to stir it up. But I don't know. It doesn't really actually look like a lot. It doesn't. <laughs> we could add some more. I can't do it, but you get the picture. I've had that before. Mmm. All right, guys. Fast forwarding about three hours later, I need to start. I have started blow drying my hair. Um, usually, I just blow it out for about ten minutes. My leave out is already blown out. As you can see, this is my leave out right here. My real hair. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I completely was so tired yesterday. I did not want to finish the video. Um, a spa day, a quarantine spa day is a lot of work. I, and I got really tired. Um, I feel like after blowing out my hair, I was just like, I'm gonna call it a night. I'll curl my hair tomorrow. But I forgot to film. I decided to do some makeup because I haven't worn makeup in so long, maybe like an entire week now. So I wanna do some makeup as a part of my spa day, you know? Yeah, let's put on some makeup so we can look pretty and, you know, then we're gonna call this video cut. Okay, so being that I'm not at home, all my makeup is in my base travel bag. Um, this is from a company called Base, B-E-I-S. I'm obsessed with this travel bag, this like makeup thing, because it's pretty large. Um, and I just like how sturdy it is. It keeps its shape and I like that and all my makeup is in here So I'm gonna be pulling from here and You have the little compartment for the brushes and the mirror and everything. So I'm gonna start off with eyebrows and While we do eyebrows, let's talk a little bit um, so What's been going on with me? Um, quarantine life um, at first I was a little bit like this is ghetto <laughs> but I kind of feel like now my body is adjusting a little bit I feel like I am on like a, a pretty good root routine now so I don't feel like I'm wasting time so now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows with this thing here and it's um, the MAC concealer this is not my favorite concealer ever I actually ordered so much makeup on from Sephora during their sale um, because I needed so much makeup. I promised myself I was not gonna buy a lot of makeup or buy anything really, but I needed makeup because I have no proper concealer. I have no proper anything, no proper foundation. The foundation I'm gonna use today also is like significantly lighter than my, I don't know, it's just not a, a great shade. I thought it was, but it's not. This is the only foundation I brought here also. It's the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And the concealer I just used is this one here by MAC. But my brows are pretty much done. I don't really do a lot with them. I'm just gonna take my foundation. I'm gonna use this brush. I'm going to blob that onto the skin. So it's not a horrible match by any means. I just feel like it's not as warm as I would like my foundations to be. I'm gonna cover up my little flat iron burn. Everybody's been asking me if this thing is a hickey and considering this thing has been on my neck for about two months, is that how long a hickey lasts? And I feel like a hickey does not last two months. <laughs> but everybody's been asking me and it's kind of getting annoying. At first I was like, <laughs> but it's not funny. So now I'm gonna use that exact same concealer under my eyes to kind of like brighten up the area. 
I'm gonna use this little sponge here. I think it's a Sonic Natasha sponge. I'm just gonna use this to blend out the concealer under my eyes. This concealer dries very fast, so you literally have to work very quickly with it. Now that we've blended, now it's time to set everything in place. This is my Laura Mercier powder. And um, I'm going to set all these little areas. So that's pretty much it for my makeup. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really do anything further So I'm just going to be braiding the front of my hair um, only because My edges are just too curly right now and they just won't stay down. So I'm just braiding the front of my hair just to kind of keep this part like out of my way and um, You know and protected as well. So this is what it looks like. Now let's work on the edges. Actually, I gave up. I, I'm not an edge control. I'm not like an edges person. I don't know how to properly do my edges. All right, so now that we're back, um, since the hairstyle just still, look, still looks a little bit, ugh. I'm gonna just curl my hair and I'm just one curling the bottom here. Just to kind of give it more oomph, you know? Let it cool. Right after I curl my hair, I like to like hold it a little bit, let it cool down. Um, just because I feel like the curls um, are a little bit, um, they hold a bit longer right now. Um, this way. So I'm just gonna curl my hair, fast forward this whole clip up, um, and then. We should be done but that's pretty much it for this getting ready with me video um, just something a little bit different this is kind of like a definitely like a quarantine look because you know it looks put together but not really but <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always let me know what you think down below and I will see you in my next video bye